Today is June 11th, Sunday, Copper Day, and I only had 15 feet. They didn't have the small wire, so I just made two more poles, and we're going to stick them in section one where I have gaps. Okay, this is the first one I put in. It was um, 4 feet 7 inches, so I used 4 foot, 12 feet center. The pinwheel behind it is about is 12 foot. Pinwheel down the hill. Pinwheel behind me. There's a marker right there from that pole there. But that's the pinwheel from this new marker. So they overlap. And then pinwheel up the hill, which gets us just past center of the ginger and the Oh, I don't know. You can't see it, but it's up there. The little one I had in last week goes halfway, so they meet. This is the second pole along the fence, section one, to fill in the gaps. This marker here is for the pole that's behind me, so obviously that one overlaps. This one will come out to this pinwheel. And that pinwheel right over there. Can you see it? And then obviously over the fence. So from where I'm standing and up in section one is supposed to be all covered with the copper. Okay, these are the plants balloon balls that have the copper in them. I'm going to move them over to the few that I have left so we can compare them. So there's three right here in front that have copper. Then the ones right behind it do not. And then the one, two, three, four along the end here have copper. Then the ones over here do not. The only thing that I really notice is that these are more closed up as where these are more open. But basically this experiment is over because I'm going to be planting all these. And you know some plants just don't do well in pots because the ones that I planted are looking really good. I'll go show the ones that I planted um, a good month ago I think. This is one that I planted a while ago. That one there. And then there's a couple down here. That one. And then this nice tall one here. Seventh, and I still have the sunflower. I think it looks about the same since last time. Maybe it grew a little bit. So I took the seven copper and put them in seven of the lily of the Nile that I started from seed. And then the ones without seeds, I'm going to move over so they're not right by each other. Okay, and this is the combine with the circle, copper, antenna around it, and it's doing really well. And no difference in the measurement on the palm. Alright, now let's take a look at the pumpkins. This one's a little bigger. Where's the other one at? Well, that one looks almost dead. It's right there. And then the other pumpkin is right here. That one does not look any better. It looks actually smaller. And the squash. Right here's the squash. That there looks almost like a Mexican sunflower. And I know I didn't plant it there. But right there's the squash plant. Not much better. Now this area down here is new. We just opened it up last fall. 
so it has no compost, no nothing. Find out if the copper really works or not. I got the sprinklers on because it's been real dry this week, but right there is the copper around the apple tree. The um, bamboo that I had it on didn't work, and then I heard that you can make the exact same thing and put it on a branch of bushes, and it's supposed to do the same thing, so I don't know why it can't touch the tree. So I just have it hooked there on the tree, and the opening's facing south. It is still staying up, but it is touching, but I'm going to leave it because, like I said, they let them touch on uh, fruit bushes. So I'm just going to let that go. Same with that, this apple tree. The um, bamboo fell over, wouldn't stay together, so I put it up here, and the opening's facing south. And this one's Joy, and it's staying up too. And I don't think it's touching the tree. This pole here that's in the blueberry hill, it actually fell down during a rain and a little bit of windstorm, not a big windstorm. So when it quit raining, I came back out and put it back in. I put it just a little bit deeper. Granddaddy long leg hanging out by the copper. This is on the arbor.